What's happening with it? This is Slink Johnson, a.k.a. Black Jesus, your Lord and Savior. And you're listening to the Red Rock Podcast Network. How you love that? You are listening to the Red Rock Podcast Network, featuring Pod of Thrones and the Shiznit. This is the Red Rock Podcast Network. From Red Rock Studios in Los Angeles, California, this is the Shiznit. Now, put your hands together for the Shiznit. Welcome back to another episode of the Shiznit Show. I'm your boy. I'm your host, Dino Red. And I have with me, as always, my ride or dies, Miss Dijon Monique. What's up, world? It's your girl. The man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Pip Lily. I'm right here. I'm right here. You can Google me, bitch. I'm an actor. I'm a director. I'm a comedian. I'm a public transportation slayer. All right. Google me, bitch. <laughs> True to source. We got a little guest here today. We do. Yeah. Dijon finally brought her, her baby. I did. I did. I did. I didn't really have a choice, but yeah, I brought him. This morning, uh huh. I took his so collar good. off so he wouldn't be jingling. <laughs> good idea. Yeah. <laughs> he he goes, he'll be sneezing in a minute. He go, no, I got Jack groomed. I got him a haircut, and he hasn't sneezed since. Oh, okay. Oh, so he sneezing. Yeah, yeah nonstop. I thought he had allergies, allergies or something was wrong with him, but I guess he just was tired of hearing his nose. <laughs> 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 But yeah, how was everybody's weeks? Good, good, yeah. It's good. Mine's yeah. mine's was eventful. I went to really? Smile Direct Club yesterday. What is that? You know they have like the, the invisible aligners for your teeth, okay. and you go, and it's like eighty dollars a month. Right. Yeah. So I went and I did that, and it was interesting. They have it in like one of those. Uh, interesting. Yeah, one of those like we work. <laughs> offices uh-huh. so you gotta go and then you go to the bottom and there's somebody there at the bottom they don't really say anything when you first walk in but as soon as you say something like oh you know i'm looking for smile direct club to the security guard that's at the desk you know they point you to the person and then then they take then that person takes you upstairs to another person and then that person takes down your information then they have you wait then that person takes you to another person and then that person takes you to the back and then they ask you your information again blah 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 and then more than likely, that person will hand you off to one more person, and that person will sit you down in the seat and do your teeth scan and everything like that. But the process was okay. I liked it. I haven't got my rendering yet. They say that takes three days, but I'm excited to see what the transformation will be. Well, at least they're employing people. I know. That's cool. The girl who did my uh, my 3D scan, she was black. So, yeah. So I was happy about that. She was cool. <laughs> was she important. Was cool. It's important that somebody black does no, her teeth. No, 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 no. But... She she understood where I was coming from when I you know when I had my question exactly (laughs) when I you know when I had my questions and I told her that I was skeptical she understood where I was coming from okay yeah so you know I told her I had done some research already and heard about it and she was like I got you don't worry so that was that was cool so she understood your fears exactly okay yes she did I think she could understand your fears if she was white. Well, <laughs> or Asian, or Latina. <laughs> she might not have cared, but she would understood. I think we had more things in common. Okay, so we were able to connect. She was like, "Oh, your middle name is Monique. My sister's middle name is Monique." Blah 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 blah. And I was like, "I don't know too many people named Monique." And then you so know that you just trans- transpired. Yeah, transpired into more. Oh, God, I can but throw a rock and hit somebody named Monique. For real? Yes. I don't know anybody with a first name, Monique. Okay. Besides well, that, besides the actress. That, that's maybe a little less, but she said somebody's middle name was Monique. So if you want to get yeah. first or middle, uh, yeah, I can throw a rock and hit somebody named Monique. Oh. 
That's well, what I think. I kind of feel like Monique is out there too. <laughs> Monique or Monica, some version. Mm. Not as a first name, but as a middle name, I know of only like three or four. It's a very poetic sounding name. Okay, well, Monique, Monique. It's well, my name. Right. Because you guys know what today is? What's today? Today is. Is it steak and. No. Oh. <laughs> no. Steak and BJ Day? No, that's in March. Bro. Oh, dang. No, no, By no. my birthday, Lord. This is uh, the beginning of Laker preseason. Oh, oh is yeah. It? Yep. Laker game. First oh. Laker preseason game today with LeBron James on the team. So, yeah, I'm excited about that. The actual NBA preseason started Friday. Lakers first game today. My boy is coming over. We're gonna have. Oh, I got a my I got a buddy from out of town that's here. So they're gonna come over. We're gonna hang out, play some dominoes, watch the game. Jack is just all over the place and whining and kind of little spoiled. Uh, he's so spoiled. Why is he so spoiled? I don't know. He just, like, <laughs> picked Jack. him up, was holding him, and he was still whining. I'm like, why are you whining? You being held. Sit down, Jack. <laughs> Sit down. Overstimulated. Right? And he just like chill. He's like, pick me up, pick me up. All right. Anyway, so yeah, I'm excited about that. Happy about that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm happy because I am too. My new boss is Puerto Rican. Really? Mm -hmm. I like Puerto Ricans. Yeah, we know. (laughs) (laughs) You've said on more than one occasion. I just, Uh I I just, I, I dig Puerto Ricans. I just, I just found out there was a drink called Sex on the Beach with a Puerto Rican. What's the What's the difference between that and the regular? I don't know. I guess it got a twist, but apparently. It's a real thing. Okay. Yeah, I didn't get it, but with a knife. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, smash, smash! Oh my god, (laughs) Dino! (laughs) Thank you guys. We'll see you next week. (laughs) That's it. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, Probably got like a lemon instead of a lime. I don't know. Maybe coconut. I don't really know. But we got something Plantain. different. Yeah. Something. <laughs> something's different about it. But that's cool. So how do you like it? How do you like your boss and everything? It's cool. I mean, you know what? It's my day job. People have been asking me on Facebook and saying, congratulations. And somebody says, like, oh, good on your new career. I'm like, this is not a career. This is what I do to pay my bills. And I'm and I when I when I talk about Pimp's broke ass hack. I'm hope I'm broke. Right. I'm tired of being broke. Right. So I had to get a job that's gonna make me less broke, so I can go back to do what I want to do. But you know, right. everybody got to do. It. I just saw Quincy Jones' documentary this week. Oh. And they talk about in that you know at when he had this tour in Europe and it cost him a lot of money. He lost a lot of money. He was hundreds of thousand dollars in debt. Um, in like the late sixties, early seventies. And so that's how he became a record executive. He's like, I got to get a day job because I got to get out of debt. Wow. Everybody does it. Just like old boys working at fucking Trader Joe's. Wow. That's true. That's true. That's true. Exactly. That's true. So this is my Trader Joe's right now. But there you go. That's true. That's true. So, but I like it because I got a Puerto Rican boss. <laughs> I ain't mad about that. All right. Let's go ahead and get into these topics. We got a lot of stuff lined up today. News and noteworthy. So we got a couple of stories today that we've been following, some for a lesser amount of time, others for uh, for years, starting off with uh, the one that everyone's talking about, America's dad, Mr. none other than uh, Mr. Peel Cosby, mm. who has been sentenced and will be doing three to ten. Three to ten years is what he's getting, and you know, uh, your boy is always on it, you know, I, I had to make sure the microphones, the Shiznit Show microphones were there. In his cell, I had I just planted microphones all <laughs> over the cell, and, and and Peel could be heard singing. Stop me and I get locked up. They won't let me out. They won't let this is his new theme song. You ain't um, right. Why they treat him like that? I'm sorry, they treated him wrong. I know he a criminal. Did y'all hear the report that said that somebody threw a stale hot dog bun? Wait, wait, hold on. I'm on here with, with, with oh, Pip, oh. you upset that, uh... I don't like the way they let him out like that. They made a, they make an example like that of him in that kind of way. They didn't have to do that. They made, they went out of their way to humiliate him. Yeah. And that's not what the criminal justice system is necessarily about. No. And I feel like it's just continuing inside the jail. I, um... I saw a report that said that somebody threw a stale hot dog bun at him, that he was being, you know, mistreated in there. Well, sexual offenders always get mistreated in jail. Yeah, I know, but still. I, that, that's my only issue. Don't get me wrong. Jail time, deserved. So what, uh, what specifically? Are that you they let him out in the front with the cuffs and stuff like that. They could have just as easily taken him out through the back like they do everybody else in that <laughs> courthouse. 
They purposely Bless did him. that to make an example and they to humiliate. Mm-hmm. Yes, to humiliate him after this went down. It's like he's an old man who's been humiliated already. His career is gone. His, you know, he's not making any more money. Um, his business dealings are done. Um, people are not holding it down for him. I mean, this th- that just seemed extra. That's all. Yeah, that just seemed I agree. Like extra. I agree. Like he getting the time. You ain't got to do all that. Uh, He's an old man, for goodness sake. I don't feel bad for him. (laughs) Uh, I don't feel feel bad for it. I just thought that that was just super extra. That was unnecessary. That's all. I, I, I was not. I didn't have an issue with anything else. I just thought, like, if, if you if you do that for you do that for everybody, or you do that for nobody, I don't just pick Bill Cosby out to do that. <coughs> that was my issue. I hear you, but I mean, other they do perp walks for other people. I mean, he's not the only one. When the cameras is there, but, um, I don't enjoy that. No, Show, I, I also think it's just like if you're going to have some credibility to your system, then <coughs> show some. It's not. I just didn't think it ain't professional. Yeah. I don't know. I don't feel bad. I don't. I don't feel bad for uh, for Bill Cosby, but I just think the whole case has just been extra. It's been dragging on over a long time. It's just. It's. It's just been a lot. I'm glad. I'm he's happy going that to jail. it's over. <laughs> right. I'm with you, Bill. I'm happy that jail. it's over. I mean, I think he got. I think he got less than what he deserved. But I just thought. I just thought that uh, that that part was extra, and the the photos all over. It's like, yeah, we already know. We already know. He's been, he, this whole last five years, who, no, as I guess it hasn't been going on that long, it feels, but it feels like five years. It's just about just bringing him down, breaking him down, breaking him down, breaking him down, breaking him down. He's broken. Yeah, it feels like five years because that's about how long ago it was when the whole thing broke broke with Hannibal, <clears throat> Hannibal Burris. To, <clears throat> talk, <clears throat> Do you want to pause? <clears throat> but yeah. Um, Thanks. Yeah. Had a some water went down the wrong way. It happens. <clears throat> so I'm back. All right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so we're back. Well, and while you know, since we're locking up old people that did stuff a whole long time ago, why not let's 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 lock up the uh, that lady who lied on Emmett Till on Emmett Till and caused uh, his death. I'm mm-hmm. for that. Just I'm, I'm actually I actually am for that 100 mm-hmm. percent because she again has gotten away with murder. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And, so, and then she, you know, she finally came forward and admitted that she lied about it. And Jesse Williams is uh, the star of Grey's Anatomy, and you know, outspoken. Or uh, I don't want to call him a black leader because he's not really. I guess he's an activist, though, right? He's, he's an activist, activist. Yeah. yeah, yeah, black activist from Grey's Anatomy. Yeah, pretty boy, pretty motherfucker. <laughs> um, he's he's uh, making his directorial debut. Okay. In a movie about Emma Till's mother, I think okay. it's called Teal. Uh huh. And so I guess it takes place. Or I guess the emphasis on it is kind of like her life after, you know, the that that tragedy of her son's death. Uh, oh, well, that makes sense, right. actually. Oh, I, that's I'm, gonna be good because that's really where. That. I mean, well, that's historically speaking, she, it's because of her actions that we're still talking about Emma Till today. Mm-hmm. Exactly. If she mm-hmm. hadn't, you know, reached out to the black press and mm-hmm. had the open casket, mm-hmm. which you know we've seen the photos now. You yeah. know, right. his body after they've been in the water and stuff like that. Yeah. And, but the horror of it all, and it sometimes, unfortunately, this is with every movement. It takes that image mm-hmm. for people to see and go like, "Is that bad? Yeah, it's that bad. Yeah, like somebody really did that. Yeah, yeah. Which is sad, but it's true. I'm happy. I mean, I'm I'm here definitely here for this one. So I'm about to strangle that dog right now. <laughs> Even even now, we still have to we have to wait for like the horror stuff to to for us to change the way we do things. And unfortunately, some things are becoming so commonplace we don't even we look past it now. I mean, we're so used to seeing shootings on TV and stuff like that. It like we don't even like that image doesn't even do anything for us anymore. That's true. We get desensitized. Yeah, that's the word. We get desensitized. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that happens quite quite frequently, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, so I mean, if we're if we're going to be locking up people, let's let's uh, you know, for things that happened a long time ago, let's let's uh, how they say today, um, keep that same energy. Right. Let's be consistent. Well, there is no st- statute of limitations on murder, and she, while she didn't commit murder. Definitely, her false accusation led to someone's death. Right. So it's got to be. Like, yeah. Is there a, a statute of limitations on perjury or? Um, let's see. What else could she be charged with? I don't know, but she death should. Some herself. some charges need to go down against her. She's getting basically getting off scot free. And again, yeah, she's old. Right. Cosby's old. Mm-hmm. But it's like you know, you should forfeit something. You should forfeit something. You you 
you had a life you already shouldn't have had and right. you had none. Yes. Right. His was taken because of your falsity and that's messed up. Falsity? Yeah. Okay, Shakespeare. <laughs> <laughs>